Look, this Ichneumon wasp is just telling around that we've set up our studio here for the next casting. This dwarf cicada obviously really wants to be there. We've never been greeted so warmly before. Hello. Hello. Yes, we can see you very well. No, we don't need to get any closer. We have a close-up lens with us. Please listen carefully. We'll explain how it works in Hollywood. There is a long red carpet. All very good actors are allowed to walk along this carpet. The actors are all dressed very nicely, and they are all very clean. You have understood this very well. Before you are allowed on this carpet, you have to clean yourself very well. Yes, even under the wings. The bouncers in Hollywood take it very seriously. Okay, are you finished? Good, we hope that will be enough. You can now show us your modeling skills. Yes, this is a very nice form of presentation. We will add you to our list for the documentary. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much. We will send you the script. And who is that? This is the red spotted plant bug. It has a special little heart on its back. Very tempting. What do we know about it? They are about seven millimeters long. They are variably colored. The colors range from red, orange, to black. They like to live on forest edges in the herb layer. They are not picky about food. They will suck on almost anything. However, they will only visit conifers in times of need. They are found throughout Europe and were introduced in America. The eggs are laid in August and September and they overwinter. The larvae hatch in spring. Normally, they hunt other insects and kill them with a fast acting poison. They can also sting humans. The sting is somewhat painful, but completely harmless if you are not allergic. Because they like to eat aphids and other insects, they are welcome in agriculture and are important beneficial insects. This is a larva. It does not yet have a heart on its back, but it has a few thorns and spines on the back of its shell to protect it. So that's it. Until later. Until then.